We celebrate Tessa's birthday because she's not here. And she's coming back. She Hi, this is the Professional Amateur Hour coming to you with another review. This week, Leo sent me NYX, and this 2022 film was directed by Anthony C. Ferrante and stars James Zimbardi, Dee Wallace, and Skylar Caleb, among others, of course. The story of this movie is about this family, and in the past, they went on this camping trip, and the sister disappeared to the NYX, and then the mother never really lets go of that fact, then 25 years later, she's still upset with it. You know, they're still celebrating her eighth birthday, but they decide, you know, as a family, let's go and try to figure this out. So they go back to the campsite and then the Nick starts doing stuff all over again. What will happen though? Well, you have to watch the movie and find out. All right, so let's discuss this movie. Well, I think it has quite a few things going for it. First of all, I'll talk about the monster. The monster is called the Nick's. And it is like this swamp creature type of thing. It lives in this lake. So of course it's all like wrinkled and the makeup effects on that are really good. And what else? There's lots of kind of creepy visuals as well that go along with the Nyx. And he kind of seems to be able to project creepy visuals as well. And there's a few other things that are creepy and, and weird and strange. And it kind of reminds me actually of The Conjuring. So The Conjuring, I think they like open a door and they go into the demon world. This one has something similar where they like open a door and they walk into the world the world of the Nyx and it's like in the woods. And so the Nyx actually plays quite a big part. There's lots and lots of creepy kind of visual things going on for I'd probably say like at least two thirds of this movie. And so if you are into that visual aspect of, you know, horror, then this might be something for you. Other than that, you know, I did enjoy this family. They are, of course, a dysfunctional family. So, for example, like the mother is kind of hung up on losing her daughter all those years ago. They have one brother who's addicted to pills, and he actually has a child, and the mother of that child's like a heroin addict as well. So that kind of comes into play as well. Then the main character, you know, he's trying to do his best to hold this family together, and his girlfriend's there who's quite supportive as well. So all of that just kind of gets you attached to the characters and makes you root for them as well. So that definitely worked for me. What else can I say? I think it's just like a simple story. You know, they're trying to figure out what happened. And I think it worked, especially kind of with the family drama and their dysfunctionality. And then them going into this spirit world and, you know, just watching the crazy visuals and trying to figure out what like the subtext is and that type of stuff. And so all of that definitely works. And seeing the characters develop and having to step up and take on responsibilities, it definitely works and I don't know, all of it just works together, you know, the acting's good, the shooting's good, the sound is all good, so it all just comes together to make a very competent horror movie. And that brings me to what doesn't work with this film. Well, while watching it, you know, I thought all of this kind of hung on the, the one aspect that the mother can't let the death of her daughter go. And especially when you kind of figure out what actually happened on that day, it's kind of surprising that she would be unable to let that go. Kind of seems unreasonable, I would say, but it is what it is. It's, again, a silly kind of motivation for the rest of the story to happen. But, you know, it does make it happen, so that is, you know, at least good. Other than that, I think with the whole Nyx story, you know, I have no idea what the Nyx is, why it's doing it, why does it like to eat children? I don't understand it. It just seems like it's this this entity in the woods that you can go and interact with and be, you know, terrorized by. And so it doesn't seem to have any explanation. It's just like, it's a Nyx. That's what the Nyx does, I guess. Who knows? So um, yeah, it's just kind of silly that way. In addition, with this Nyx and all the kind of visual aspects that go along with it, I never actually thought it was scary. There kind of seems like this disconnect between, you know, the real world and then the spirit world that they go into. And so I never felt like this could actually happen to me or actually anybody else. And it, again, reminds me very much of The Conjuring. And they actually have certain aspects where they like take it right out of The Conjuring. But it's actually kind of a funny story. When I first watched The Conjuring, I watched it with this girl. And she was getting really scared with these demons and this demon world stuff. 
And so I told her, like, don't worry, like, demons aren't real. This can't actually happen. And then she said, oh, no, like, at church, like, we're taught that demons are real. And I said, oh, well, this demon's not real, all right? The conjuring demon's not real. And that definitely calmed her down and also provided that disconnect that she needed. So it has that disconnection for me with this one. Again, like, I've been camping and stuff. Nothing ever happens like this. So it just kind of seems like a story that you hear around the campsite but you would never actually believe happened. So that is, I think, good for novice or new horror movie fans. So if you are just getting into horror movies, I think this is a good starting point, definitely kind of light on the horror. So yeah, hardcore fans won't like it, but you know, easily scared people, yeah, time of your life. So who would I recommend this movie for? Well, like I said, if you're trying to introduce a friend to the horror genre, this is a good kind of light horror for them to, you know, start with. And so if that sounds like something you would do, then yeah, totally check it out. Probably not for children with that kind of drug storyline as well, unless you want to have that conversation. But yeah, hardcore fans, probably not for you, but new horror fans and just want to watch some creepy stuff going on. Yeah, totally check it out. As for rating, I have to give it the average score of five. And with that being said, I think that's all I wanted to say. So like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.